The top-ranked Georgia Gym Dogs enter tonight's meet looking to bounce back from a loss to fourth-ranked Michigan in their last meet. If Georgia hopes to fulfill their ambitions of a fourth consecutive national championship, they will have to do it without Courtney Capet. The two-time NCAA all-around champion is out for the season, and Georgia has yet to win without her. The Gym Dogs will need to step it up if they are to fill the void vacated by their superstar. The 10th-ranked UCLA Bruins are hoping to elevate their performance after a third-place finish in a quad meet last time out. They are aiming to end their regular season with a road victory against the top-ranked team in the nation and prove they are a Super 6 team. The number 10-ranked UCLA Bruins take on number one Georgia next. NCAA's top gymnast in 2006 and again in 2007, but an injury has ended Courtney Coupette's season this year, and now her team is forced to go on without her. And that will be no easy task today inside the Stegman Coliseum. The top-ranked Georgia Gym Dogs welcome the 10th-ranked Bruins of UCLA as we bring you NCAA Gymnastics here on CNA. Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Murphy alongside Shannon Miller. Welcome to Gymnastics 360 as we get set to showcase two of the top teams in the NCAA. And Shannon, these two teams are top 10 for a reason. Absolutely. Between these two teams, they have won 10 of the last 11 national titles. So we are going to see some great gymnastics tonight. And they match up very well. Take a look at some of the national rankings this year. Uh, it, when you look down at it, very close, except maybe perhaps at the floor. Absolutely. You can see the big uh, discrepancy on floor exercise UCLA coming in at number 20 while Georgia is number one and that's Georgia's last event so uh, that's where an area where Georgia can pull ahead well I mentioned the injury to Courtney Coupets and Georgia it is a blow no doubt to the gym dogs but this team is loaded with talent like senior Katie Heenan yes they are and they're looking for some of these girls to step up into that leadership role Katie Heenan is one that can do it she was second all-time score at Georgia with 2046 over 2046 mm -hmm. career points Katie has always been a very consistent athlete, and they are looking to her to step up to the plate and really motivate this team and help them believe that they still can win it. Yeah, they certainly will be leaning on athletes like Heenan. Uh, but on the other side of things, UCLA, certainly, as you mentioned, they are no strangers to winning NCAA titles. They've done it many, many times, and they are led by senior Tasha Schweiker. Absolutely. Not only is she a 2005 NCAA National All-Around Champion, she's also a 2000 Olympian and 2003 world champion uh, this is an incredible story she has just gotten more and more consistent with her career hitting the last 27 routines wow. and if you're an athlete if you're a gymnast you understand how incredible that is to be that consistent it's going to be a good match it promises to be a good one today in athens georgia so stay where you are it is georgia and ucla next on gymnastics 360 with shannon miller we'll be right back the Stegman Coliseum in Athens, Georgia. We're getting set for the Georgia Vault uh, coming up, the first rotation. You take a look at the top six vaulters for Georgia. Who jumps out at you, Shannon? Well, certainly Marcia Newby, and as you go down the line, usually you get your better athletes toward the end. I'm interested to see Tiffany Tolney. She's mm -hmm. really gained in a lot of confidence, so I'm excited to see how she competes tonight. And while Georgia is on the vault, UCLA will start on the bars. And again, we've uh, talked about uh, Schweiker, Tasha Schweiker, but Jordan Schweiker on that list as well. Absolutely. Both incredibly consistent athletes, and UCLA is number two on uneven bars, ranked in the nation. So uh, they really can give Georgia a run for the money on this event. So the competition is getting underway. And we will start with Paige Burns of uh, Georgia. She will start on the vault. Burns, the 5'3 junior from St. Cloud, Florida. Paige usually competing in Yurchenko full. She'll do a round off onto the board. Block off the vault. Nice full twist. A little low, bit chest down that landing. But when you're first vaulter up, you're trying to get the nerves out. You can watch how she hits the block right here. A little bit flat on the block. Again, just a few errors, but it'll be a pretty good score. 9.7. 9.7 for Paige Burns. So a good start for the Georgia Gym Dogs. Move over to the uneven bars. It's Ariana Berlin. 
Ostrom is focusing on hitting those handstands, making sure they're hitting those angles. Look like she tapped her heels on the bar right there. That's going to be a bit of a deduction, and sometimes that can kind of mess with you mentally when you're in the middle of a bar routine and you hit your feet. She seems to be moving through very well, gearing up for this dismount. Ariana, former walk-on, now on scholarship at UCLA. Big dismount, full twisting, double back, nicely done, trying to hold on to that stuck landing. So the junior from San Diego, first up for the Bruins, and uh, a solid routine on the bar. Watch right there, it looks like she hit the bar. That will be a slight deduction, but overall a very solid routine for the first goal up. As she awaits the judges scoring on the uneven bars for Ariana Berlin. It was a 9.65 for Ariana, we're told, as we move on to Marcia Newby. Marcia is going to do a little bit of an interesting vault. She's going to do a half turn with a front. That's what she was warming up. Solid vault. You can see directly in front of the horse, she kept her line. Just a small step forward, and they've got to work on hitting those landings, sticking those landings. Good block off the horse, nice power. Good job. Sophomore from Virginia Beach gets a 9.875 on the vault for the Georgia Gym Dogs. Move back over to the uneven bars, Jordan Schweiker. Jordan, of course, Tasha's sister. And she's very strong on this event. Beautiful Hansen. Oh, a little too good. And she went over. And that's going to be tough. She's taking a couple of extra swings. Two or three, actually, right there. That's going to be, it could be more deduction than it would have been if she'd actually just come off the bar. Beautiful Ginger. Shoot to hand. Very nice form throughout this routine, but that is a very difficult start. Full pirouette into a nice double pike, holding that landing. Wow, and that was a gorgeous routine. It's just those big deductions in the start, and they are definitely going to want to drop this score. It says a lot about uh, the young lady who was able to uh, recover after that and, and finish her routine uh, strong. And here she goes. She's yeah. swinging. You can count the amount of extra swings, two or three. Beautiful double pike to end the routine. So there you see it, 9.025 for Jordan Schweikert for UCLA on the uneven bars. So she'll be disappointed with that. So we move back to the vault, uh, Hillary Morrow from Boston, Massachusetts. I love Hillary. I actually used to go in their gym and train when I lived up in Boston, and she is just a tough little cookie. She works very hard in the gym. Beautiful Yurchenko full, and she is new to this vaulting lineup. Only a, a one or two competitions. This was a strong vault, and she is just so tiny. Four foot seven inches tiny. <laughs> and she has said that she's actually grown another inch since she got to Athens. So I guess we have to say she's four eight now. All right, I will say that from <laughs> now on. 9.850 for Hillary Morrow from Boston, Massachusetts. And we'll move along to back to the bars where Siobhan Church from UCLA is getting set for her routine. Freshman, five foot two. It's always tough to go up after a miss. The pressure is on, and they know that they need to start getting this lead early on in the competition because, as we discussed, Georgia could easily pull ahead on floor exercise. Beautiful shoot to hand, kip up to the high bar. Nice eagle work in that inverted position, right to a double tuck. Solid routine for UCLA. So UCLA off to a pretty good start on the uneven bars. We, we take one more look at Church. Beautiful double tuck. Nice easy landing. Tiny, tiny hop. And she gets some congratulations from her teammates. And there you see why. 9.800 on the uneven bars for Siobhan Church. And a good start indeed to both UCLA and Georgia. And more coming up uh, in rotation number one from the University of Georgia. We'll be back at the Stegman Coliseum in just a minute.